New at 10 on this transgender day of visibility, President Joe Biden announced a series of actions in hopes of supporting trans Americans, including mental health support for transgender kids. Here in Chicago, the grandmother of transgender rights, Phyllis Fry, speaking on what she calls her sweat equity. Let's get right to Marissa Perlman, live outside the University of Chicago. Marissa. Erica, once an outcast, now an esteemed judge. Phyllis Fry came out four decades ago as a transgender woman. Her presentation wrapping up here at University of Chicago just within the last hour or so. And boy, was it powerful. And now she's sharing with us how she was able to generate this movement. They call her the grandmother of transgender rights. Oh, no, it's very true. I am the grandmother. More than 50 years ago, Phyllis Fry began her journey to become the first openly transgender judge in the country. Today is the International Transgender Day of Visibility. And now she's sharing her story with the University of Chicago. Fry, known for spearheading the repeal of the anti-cross-dressing ordinance and for representing hundreds who face discrimination because of their gender identity. I put in a lot of sweat equity. Her name now synonymous with trailblazer, at one time gracing the cover of the New York Times and called a voice for change. Change comes amid a larger anti-trans movement by conservative lawmakers. In the last three months alone, 100 anti-trans bills have been introduced in 34 states. The bullies are busy. Many of those bills now focused on kids. They have no concept about what it is like to be uh, five, six, eight, ten years old and dealing with the fact that what's inside just doesn't fit. The Chicago community has its own concerns after two black transgender women were found dead in recent weeks. Tatiana LaBelle's body was found inside a garbage can. Her cause of death has not yet been announced, and the body of Elise Mallory, an Evanston activist, was found in Lake Michigan. Her death has not yet been announced. Fry says the community needs support now to continue to make change. People who aren't trans, but who love someone who is trans, they aren't always sure how to act. And despite her own tough road, she has a message on this transgender day of visibility. Come out of the closet, for goodness sake. It's, it's a good life. Well, there is movement on Capitol Hill today when it comes to supporting the transgender community. The Social Security Administration announcing a policy change that will now let people self-select their gender on their records. That's likely to hit in fall of 2022. And when it comes to your passport, there will now be a third option when it comes to selecting gender. That option is including X. We're live outside University of Chicago tonight. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Okay, Marissa, thank you.